What's going on gamers? Today we're going to be breaking down the best NCAA 25 defense that I found post patch. Now, a lot of the meta blitzes and plays have been patched, but I have crazy defense out of dime normal, dime rush, nickel over in the double mug and you can find everything over on the patreon i was waiting for the big patch to come out to release everything i have about three to four videos getting uploaded this weekend on the patreon so make sure you join that let's get into today's ncaa 25 breakdown so i like to run a lot of cover four match or cover three match with this defense I will turn it into a hybrid defense. Why? It's two things you always have to worry about. You have to worry about the running back running the ball. So 80% of my defense has the running back manned up. Now, how you, I like to run my hybrid defense is the person in front of my cornerbacks, I don't want him manned up with him. He's going to be susceptible to whip routes and getting beat with man routes. So what I would do is I would take somebody outside of him and man him up with him and then i will cross man from safety down to outside wide receiver inside right wide receiver to number three and so forth so as you can see person close to him not under him so cornerback over cornerback i don't want him on him i want him on number two safety on number one that's going to give you the best man coverage you see that without shading or anything else now on the outside of the field we have match coverage, okay? So that's not shading. That's him running the route for him for an interception. Now, as you can see, I have the top safety manned up with number one. This hybrid defense makes your opponent have to throw the correct read. Right there, he had a guy wide open, down 28 to 7. He could have scored a touchdown easily. So it's a high risk, high reward defense. Also, with the blitz coming, your opponent is going to be blocking extra people. So 60% of this, he's going to be leaving the tight end in. As you can see, safety on wide receiver number one, cornerback number one on the running back. That means when they run the ball, jet sweeps, inside zone, stretches. I have more people in the run fits that are coming down, attacking the ball carrier instead of going back five to six yards. Another hybrid defense call, like I said, don't man up the person right in front of your guy, cross man your guy, okay? If you start implementing that into your NCAA 25 defense, I guarantee you will be way better. I have a full breakdown exactly what type of abilities, what type of stats you should be looking for for the cross man because it's only certain people on the team with certain type of of abilities and certain type of archetypes that you want to do it for so you can see I fake off to the left like I'm going to the running back that's usually somebody's first read then I go back to where the guy is cross man at he had a little bit of separation we jumped the route another interception 